Question 11. Assume that the reserve requirement is 20% and uh, the bank does not hold any excess reserves and the public does not hold any cash. So the Fed decides that it wants to expand the money supply by $40 million. So if the Fed is using open market operations, will it buy or sell bonds? So it will buy bonds because by buying bonds, Months, it inject money into the into the economy. So buy bonds here. Okay, B. Um, what quantity of bonds does the Fed need to buy or sell to accomplish this goal? Explain your reasoning. So we know that the reserve ratio is 20%, right? So we can see, uh, so we can calculate the money multiplier, which is 1 divided by 20%, that is 5. So the money multiplier is 5. So we can calculate that it needs to buy a certain amount of bonds which means it needs to um, inject this certain number of money into the economy to make this multiplier works and then in the end it will have uh, for uh, 40 million dollars of money supply so now we can fill in this blank this is just 80 million, 80 million dollars. So the answer to question B is that the government, well, the Fed needs to buy 80 million dollars of bonds. And, uh, in other words, it needs to inject this 80 million dollars into the economy to make this money grow and grow by using this money multiplier. So then at the end, this is go. Oh, uh, sorry, I was wrong. I was wrong. This is 8 million, not 80 million. Yeah, because 8 times 5 is 40. Yeah, so by buying this $8 million of bonds, it inject this amount of money in the economy. And then after circulation and then after the effect of money multiplier, we have this $40 million of money supply in the economy.